everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel. And today guys, I'm here to talk about some new Vanguard updates. So, as I stated in my last video, Fortnite will be taking a probably a bigger priority on my channel. With the news that Black Moon Dragon is leaving, I still intend to work with GM. But I don't know how I feel. Sorry, there's a dog snoring in the background. It's not my dog, it's actually one of my roommate's mom's dog that comes and stays with us from time to time. So if you hear the snoring, I'm sorry. But, um... Uh, I want to work with GM more, but at the same time, I've been struggling with how I want to run my channel, and as Wolves of the Round Table, Black Moon is part of that table in my opinion. Whether or not he decides to identify as a wolf is something else, which I should confer with him at some point, besides the point. Um, I just have been having a hard time thinking of videos and i'm gonna try some fortnite battle royale and other stuff that will go along with it but it's gonna mainly stick as vanguard and fortnite so um that's something for another day Alrighty. so what i want to talk about today is the two new cards that i saw on cardfight coalition in the new booster box so we're gonna start off with um dandy guy so dandy guy Romario um, is a grade one normal unit from Grand Blue. He's a zombie with 8k power and 10k shield. He has a continuous skill on rearguard. If you have 10 or, more, 10 or more cards in soul, this unit gets 4k. He also has the auto skill when rode upon, counter blast one and put one card from your hand into soul. Put the top three cards of your deck into your drop zone and put a card from your drop zone into your hand. I find this a very useful skill in my opinion with how Grand Blue runs. Um, the reason for this being is that with how Grand Blue runs, um, it focuses on getting stuff centrally into the drop zone and then playing it. So if you have a card that puts three cards in the drop and you get to take one of those of choice to hand, that's super good. And I really wish the dog would stop snorting. It's really hard to concentrate. Um, alrighty. So, it does, in my opinion, at least break even. Maybe plus if you want to count it as a plus. I really don't know. Um, I view this card as a very good... It looks to be a double rare? I can't tell by the... Um, yeah, it looks to be a double rare. Doesn't look to be common. But I really like the card. Um, moving along with the new card in mind of... Night Mist, or Captain Night Mist, grade 2, normal unit, grand blue vampire with 9k power and a 5k shield. Auto rearguard, when plays, cost counterblast 1, call a grade 1 or lower from your drop zone to rear. If you have 10 or more cards in your drop zone, you may call any grand blue unit instead of a grade 1 or lower. So, um, I really do like this card, it's a nice versatile rearguard. In my opinion, from looking at these two cards alone and a lot of the cards that have been released with Grand Blue, um, it looks like a very centralized first slash second turn or first turn deck. You want to have that damage first, so you want to ride right into Romario and then draw the card, let your opponent go, nail you for two damage if he can, if he or she can. That's what you hope for. From there, you're going to ride Romario with another grade 2, get the unit, bounce a card to hand from drop, and then you're going to call Captain Night Miss to bounce a card from drop to rear, which is really useful. And he has a lot of late game versatility because there is definitely going to be 10 or more cards in your drop zone when that happens. And lastly, I want to talk about the new box, which is... Uh, Psy something it's like psyqualia clash or something like that but essentially from what i've seen from what i understand is it's a small mini box coming out in august in japan we're unsure if we're actually going to get one at all in the uh future in english which i really hope we do because there's a lot on there that really intrigues me like the whole fact that there might be uh, a Gize, or not Gize, wow, I got Gize on the mind for whatever reason. Terrible card. A Novel Vagueless Novel. And for my roommate, Nightwolf, which I've talked to, I've talked about quite a bit, 
he loves Novell. He's always liked it as an old card. So getting a mini booster like this is pretty awesome. It's your standard 32 packs per box. Each pack is going to contain two cards. There's going to be two VRs, four triple rares, four triple rares, six triple rares. Maybe that's meant to be six double rares. I'm looking at an info. Uh, 10 Rs and 10 commons. I'm really not a fan. Uh, there's also two SVRs and 16 different gift marks. I'm not really a fan fan of um what's it called there's uh brains dying that's what's happening here i'm not a fan that there's two uh cards a pack and they're only being um and they're being commons in it now if this has been if this was a standardized um booster box commons would be fine but i also like the old like um What's it called? Fight something. Uh, Fighter's Collection. That's what it's called. It's been a while since we've had one. Fighter's Collection where you got three cards a pack. They were all foil and they were key cards to decks. You know, they were stride units back in the prior. Formerly from that, they were grade threes and grade twos that were really big key parts. So I'm a big fan of those cards. But I'm not sure how I feel about commons. It does look like you're guaranteed at least one foil a pack. So I guess for every common you get one at least rare or higher. And it covers Royal Paladin and Kagura. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, also, each pack's only 100 yen, uh, 100 yen for two cards. Very good. Um, each pack has either a rare, higher, or a holographic version of a common. And each pack is guaranteed, and each box is guaranteed a VR and SVR. Which is good. They're also including some awesome full art heal triggers, which I want to get my hands on. So this might be something worth investing into. I might buy one or two boxes. That's probably about it. Um, that's all I want to cover for this video. Until next time, guys. I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.